super minds hi kids welcome back today let's look at constellations imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing a lot of stars sometimes those stars seem to form shapes or patterns that people have named these shapes are called constellations a constellation is like a picture made out of stars. People long ago looked at the stars and imagined different things they could be like. Animals, people or objects. They connected the stars with imaginary lines to make these shapes. There are two main types of constellations. Official constellations. Asterisms. Asterisms These are small groups of stars that form a recognizable shape but they are not officially recognized as constellations. Famous examples are Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. Official Constellations These are larger groups of stars that form a specific shape or pattern recognized by astronomers. There are 88 official constellations that cover the entire sky. Some of the most famous constellations are Orion. This constellation is named after a legendary hunter in Greek mythology. It is easily recognizable by the three bright stars that form Orion's belt. Ursa Major. Known as the Great Bear, this constellation contains the well-known asterism, the Big Dipper. In ancient times, people used the stars to navigate. Cassiopeia This constellation is named after the Queen Cassiopeia in Greek mythology. It's often depicted as a W or M shape, depending on its orientation in the sky. Leo Representing the lion in Greek mythology, this constellation is notable for its distinctive backward question mark shape, which outlines the lion's head and mane. So, constellations are basically like pictures in the sky made of stars, and there are different kinds of them, some official and some not, but they all help people find their way around the night sky and tell stories from long ago. If you had fun today, give us a thumbs up, share and subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure.